What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Chasing Florida. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit the bell notifications. That way you are notified when we're posting new content. If you're into fishing, boating, camping, overlanding, this is the channel for you. If you already subscribed, welcome back. Today we're out here in Cayo Costa out on the west coast, the ancient grounds of the Palusa. We got our boat just beach right there. We're gonna show you guys around today, but before we do that, as always, let's roll that intro. everybody welcome back to facing Florida version 2 where I also appear on the channel and now David is doing all the work for the silly goose here it's recording oh it's recording so in the inside the intercoastal so golf is outside we just found this little sandbar on the inside. We just beached the boat right there. There's a bunch of people out here. Pretty cool. After this, we're gonna get going to Cabbage Key and stop in there for lunch. And after that, we're gonna fish. We're gonna roll over a flat where we've seen some trout and some redfish. Let's just see what we catch. Uh, let, let's say that. You know, I've, I've kind of seen. You know, sometimes I promise you guys some things in these videos. <laughs> And you know, it's just uh, sometimes we gotta just catch what's out there. So we're setting up some popping corks and some flat lines. Oh wow, look at this stuff. Let's uh, point the camera that way. Looks like we have some dead fish right here. Mullet, those are mullet. This is actually a pretty popular hangout here. We just tossed the boat right there. Just walking away from it. There's a couple of these little islands here. And this actually connects to Cayo Costa all the way around that way and then goes all the way down to the south. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of dead fish. That's a dead mullet there. So yeah, something's going on here. Maybe it's part of that red tide, who knows. All right guys, so we just got here to Cabbage Key. Pretty interesting way to tie up the boats here in between these little pilings. Tied up to the front, you can see all the other boats along the side over there are set up the same. That's the ferry that comes in and out of the mainland. I think they come in like every couple of hours or so, don't, don't quote me on that. But we're uh, gonna go and grab some lunch and after that, we're gonna get on our way and do some fishing. So, let's go and get some grub. Apparently there's something going on with the water quality here. So, and there's a lot of fish that have been found dead, red tide, so I don't know how the local catch would be. Uh, so just to be safe, we had some burgers, and then after that we're going to go and walk around the rest of Cabbage Key and see what it looks like after the storm, after Hurricane Ian. The restaurant is closed, but we're going to walk inside the bar and show you the bar right off the dock back here where the boat's at. Straight ahead and to the left. So, we're going to put our Chasing Floor dollar up right here. And about every year, 20,000 of these dollars fall. And the staff here at Cabbage Key donates it to a charity, which I think is pretty cool. So, if you guys come out here, make sure you bring a few dollars so you can put yours up. This just fell. <laughs> yeah. 
Put it up somewhere. Alina. Alina. Some of you, as you can tell, have stuck here for some time. 20,000 of it goes to charity. That's an awesome thing. I think it's pretty cool. It's always good to see money like that go to a good cause. <laughs> right off the dock over here, you can see our boats over there by the gift shop. If you come this way, right up the side by the cornhole games, you'll find the land turtle here. Look at all the this seashells. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Cool. <clears throat> so these guys will never make it down there. They're just land turtles. They're not going to like to go to the salt water, but they thrive here. Let's set the other one out. In the storm. I think we're lucky enough to see them all. They're speedy right here. We probably didn't catch him because he's probably already gone. Yeah, he's all the way in the back over there. <laughs> so this is built on an entire shell mound. Actually, the only reason why Cabbage Key survived and wasn't waterlogged is because the main restaurant and bar is built up top a massive shell mound that was put here by the Calusa Indians. Thank Before you, guys. This place was bought out by a family there's a lot of history of cabbage key you guys can look it up we'll link it down below in the description so you can check it out I don't know, I don't know what it is feels like a small little snook maybe yeah like it looks like a snooklet yep it's definitely a little snooklet here we go come here buddy you're one of my favorites nice little golf snook and he's fighting pretty good Check them out, guys. Flip them right in the boat. That's a nice little snooklet. And here we go. Good old snook whisperer trick. This is an old trick. You'll see some of the old guys do this. Just grab the snook on its side like this, and it really mellows them out. So he's, uh, yeah, he's kind of tangled up pretty bad, but we're just gonna unwrap that leader on the front of his face. The hook's already out. And go like that. Fish, come on. All right, relax. So check them out, guys. Nice little baby little snook here. I'm gonna let him go, all right? There you go, buddy. Boom, there he goes. Get bigger. I'm on something guys. I think it's a ladyfish. Yeah, he's actually fighting pretty nice for a ladyfish. Is the dolphin chasing him down? No. Yeah. Chasing? The dolphin's chasing him down. It's a nice little ladyfish. Yeah. It's cool, right? Nice ladyfish. Dolphin's right underneath the boat. He's right here. He's trying to eat him. Get over here, dude. Yeah, look at him right there. Look at Flipper right here. Boom. Come here, buddy. I got you some dinner. You want him? Come here, buddy. All right, but let me uh, take him off the hook first, though. Get him. Did you get him? Did he get him? Yeah, he got him. Nice. He got him? Yeah, he got him, bro. That is crazy. Ladyfish, I'm, I'm hoping that he just jumps off, dude. Come on, buddy. Yes, nice success. He jumped off. Looking for sea trout. The sea trout run along all these grass beds here. And now we're just drifting back, so maybe we'll. Yeah. I'm gonna anchor us right here because we just found a nice, I just found a nice grass patch, and I think here, if we're lucky, we're gonna see uh, we're gonna see some sea trout here, bro. You think so? Yeah, because there's a lot of sea grass here, and the trout like love. Two feet now, you're in two feet. I know, I know, on purpose. 
you're at See the sea? Look at the seagrass right here over at our side. Yeah, yeah. I've That's what I was looking for. I just had something hit the the, the shrimp. Well, this just got picked up on the grass flats. I hope seems to be something different where no more ladyfish it hasn't jumped yet. If it is a ladyfish, it hasn't jumped. It's a nice sea trout. Look at that sea trout, dude. That's a keeper sea trout, too. Give me the neck. It's hooked up on the bottom. Yeah. Our corner hooked All right here. Oh, yeah. Come here, buddy. Right in this net. There you go. Nice. That's a good catch. Wow, what a beautiful trout. Look at that guy. That, that hook wasn't going nowhere. He got hooked good? Oh yeah, he got hooked real good. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's about Can you back up a little bit, please? Yeah, back up. He bounced right off of my hand. Bro. That's good. That's good. That's fine. So they're on the flats here, bro, for sure. Yeah. So what? What did I think? What was your favorite part of what, Yeah, what was your favorite part of the trip? I really like jumping from island to island. I found that, I'm not going to say it's not a lot, but I felt it very similar to what you do in like the Keys. And so, yeah, it just feels a lot like you're in the Keys. I particularly like Cabbage Key. And, you know, checking out that bar with all that money hanging out, which I thought was super cool. What I didn't like about it was. Uh, Red tide. I didn't like the red tide. Like I, I mean, I know the red tide is fairly common out here on the west coast, but the effects of it suck. As you can see, like we can show you a link of this massive grouper. I mean, actually, we're just gonna roll a clip of the big grouper we filmed. It's huge. That was killed by the red tide, and there's a lot of it everywhere. It's dead mullet on the beach. There's dead sea trout. I caught a sea trout and we ended up releasing it, even though I really wanted to keep it because it was perfect. Actually, perfect for the dinner table. But I wouldn't when eat you see, first of all, I wouldn't want to eat anything from the water because of the concern. But not only that, I just don't want to take a healthy fish from the environment that is already heavily stressed due to red tide. So if we're out here on the west coast, I would I would say uh, catch and release. No, don't catch a fillet. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that was my impression of the place. People were very nice, as they all are in Florida. That red tide really killed me, man. I hate to see fish like that, just dead fish everywhere. Uh, but I still caught plenty of fish, and overall, it was a great time. The islands are constantly being cleaned out from debris. And, They're um, still pulling out trees from the yeah, water. with barges. And the trails are obviously, I don't think, high up there in the priority uh, you know, the priority list. So the trail for the Calusa was pretty much cut into like a fourth when we went to go and see it. But that's okay. It was like a little a loop and that's it. Yeah, but just that's one fine. small loop. We'll be yeah. back to see the rest of it. If you're going by boat, the docking is kind of tight. Uh, but uh, you know, any, anyone who's on a boat always loves a good challenge. So that was awesome. And uh, yeah, the trail was pretty interesting. A lot of different types of species. Obviously, it's full of palm trees, cabbage palms. That's why it's, it's called, called Cabbage Key. And uh, it's actually a very, very, almost as old as where we stayed. I think it was founded in 1936, 1944, or something like that. It's basically uh, as old as Tarpon uh, Lodge and actually... Well, their sister property. Their sister property. So they uh, pretty much share a lot of different types of similarities you can see within both of the inns. Check out the water tower. It's got an original water tower from the time it was actually founded, like back in, I think like this, the tower came up in the 30s, if I'm not mistaken, maybe even late 40s. 
uh, and it's still in use today. When we were in Cayo Costa, and I got that on film. I think you guys saw that. Were they were doing tricks. flips. They were just doing tricks and stuff. Some of the small cool. ones, some of the, the juvenile dolphin. They were, they were they were awesome, man. That area is more affected by that red tide than anything else. The inside, the bay side, closer to the intercoastal areas, closer to the lodge where we stayed, was actually much cleaner and better fishing. But figure I, I hit a bunch of different spots. I had some friends that recommended some spots over here, and they yielded specifically the inside. The outside was, in my opinion, just pretty. I didn't see any fish. I mean, all the fish I saw out there were like floating. So, uh, yeah. And as the uh, dock master Not over there time. at Cabbage Key is like, fish aren't supposed to do that, right? Uh, fish aren't supposed to float. No. They're not supposed to float like that, right? So they're, uh, you know, it's just kind of sad. Comment below and let us know where you think uh, we should go next. Yes. We've already got a few.